So this is going to be a quick lesson about how to use Python to open a file chooser in Windows. And that's often useful um, to be able to give a user uh, control over an open or a save dialog. Um, sometimes you would think that you, you know, the easy way to get, have access to a specific folder with a bunch of files would be to use the dat folder. And that is a great way to do it. The, uh, the thing that the dat folder does is that it gives you access to a specific folder. And, and here you can see it's going straight to my desktop. So it's essentially pulling down all the files that are on my desktop. And then you can do some filtering on that. But sometimes you would like to build a UI, let's say, and you want to give a user a choice of a specific folder where they might find things. Um, so the way to do that is to use a simple little Python uh, pointer to, um, to be able to give you just a, 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 an explorer, a built-in explorer, so a dialog box. And um, the way to do that is, in fact, quite simple. Uh, let's make a quick example. Let's have a button here. And let's say that every time this button is clicked, I would like to uh, trigger a explorer where I will find a file and then I'll retrieve the name of that file and I will use that inside of a dat. So I'm going to just put a chop execute here. And I'm going to say every time I click this button on, I would like to actually, you know what, I'm just going to use a null here because I find it easier to see what's going on if instead of using a the out I just use the null so if I go here and let's clean this up a little bit I'm interested in the off to on how do I actually find out what the code is what is that little snippet of code that I need to be able to tell touch designer to open a dialogue well it turns out that this is going to be part of something called the UI class, which is essentially the way that Python and Touch Designer deals with user interface elements. And um, I, um, I did a quick search on the wiki, and you can see here there's something called the UI class. And if I just kind of scroll down in here, I can see that there are a couple of interesting things, like a message box, which will allow you to create a specific message box if you wanted to. For example, you could give users warnings. And the one that we're interested in is something called choose file. And choose file has a bunch of different options. Um, and they're all explained here. Uh, quickly broken down, uh, load is essentially telling you, is this supposed to be a open or a save dialog? Um, if you do not put anything by default, it will be a open dialog. And start is useful if you want to give the user a specified place to look in. So it's kind of like the, the, the point of departure. File types can be specified. So let's say you want users to only be able to choose image files. You can specify that. You could also just specify movie files. Uh, as expression um, is kind of as if you wanted to integrate the result of this search in uh, in a parameter, for example, in an expression inside a parameter. And then title is if you want to switch to a different title. And um, they give some examples here, which you can look at. Um, but I'm going to just show you a quick and easy way to do this. So one way that um, I've learned to, to do this, which is a little bit cleaner than just going straight for the choose file is to actually create a variable. So let's say that my variable is my path and I'm going to define it as being the choose file. And then I'm going to open parentheses. And let's say I would like to say that I only want dot movies. So I'm going to go to file types equals and then there's a little bit of a syntactical thing you have to remember here. You want to open brackets. You want to use MOV like this inside of quotes. And then you want to close your square brackets. And then you want to close the parentheses. And then um, you basically what, what you're going to do with this is you're just going to open a 
uh, a dialog, but what's going to happen? Nothing. You actually would pick a file, but it wouldn't go anywhere. So typically, you'll want to create a, a container for the file that you've that you've called for. So let's do just a simple table here, and let's call it results, and let's just give it an additional couple of rows just for the sake of having them. We're only going to use one for now. We're going to use this one, which is zero, zero. So we're going to say, all right, this op called results at the cell zero, zero is going to receive the result of my path. And essentially that means it's just going to store the results of the choose file command. So let's try that out. I'm going to close this and uh, oh, now this is kind of a bug in, in touch is that it seems like sometimes when you write stuff in the viewer it will not save it. So I'm going to put this back and I'm just going to try this. So now if I click on this button, ooh, I have an error. And choose file is not defined. Oh, you know what? This is a good error to have. And the reason is that, as I said earlier, the this is part of a class, and this class is the UI class. So I need to actually declare that here. And that should fix our problem. And I'm not sure you can actually see this, but it has just opened a really big window. Um, and I'm just going to go inside of here. And I'm inside of a folder. There is nothing that matches my MOV search. So um, I would need to actually go to a folder that has MOVs. So uh, let's say that I'm going to go to here and I pick this guy. And here we go. I just selected an MOV, which was legal. And you can see it actually created this result for me. And so now, if I were to create a movie in top, and I were to say, I want the, oops, I'm not sure you can see the parameters in my screen, um, my screen uh, capture window size, which is a little bit smaller than my screen. So let's say that I wanted to make this into my op results zero, zero. And then I have something called color blocks, which is appearing right here. So then if I went to click on this button again and chose a different file, it would fill this with a different movie, and then the movie file in would be replaced by a different movie. So this is a quick and uh, quick and dirty way of looking into this. This tutorial went a little bit longer than I thought, so I'm going to stop it, but please ask any questions in the comments and do experiment with all of those different options that you have in the uh, wiki for the different ways that you are able to call this um, uh, this UI choose file. And uh, yeah, I hope this is helpful.